And I wanted to tell you a little bit more about myself. You know, I wasn't always an athlete. And in fact, I never really considered myself athletic. Um, I did a little bit of high school swimming, but um, to be honest, I just thought I was kind of average. I wasn't that good at it. Uh, I didn't work out during college, and um, it really wasn't until after I had my children that I decided to kind of get back into shape. And I started swimming first. I saw an advertisement for the Danskin Women's Triathlon, and I thought to myself, wow, I can swim a half a mile. Uh, so I jumped in the pool, and I swam half a mile, and sure enough, I could do it. And so then I thought, well, the next leg of that triathlon was a 12 and a half mile bike ride. Gosh, we all rode our bikes as kids. So yeah, I thought I could ride, you know, 12 and a half miles and then a 3.1 mile run. So I went home that night and I ran around the block two miles and I figured, you know, with a little bit of training, I could do this. Well, I finished my first triathlon and I had so much fun that I decided I was going to do it again next year. And then the following year, I added two more events. And then the third year, I actually did my very first half Ironman competition. I was running and I was really enjoying my, my, my new athletic freedom um, that with the help of my good friend Sally Edwards, who I met through the Danskin Women's Triathlon, I did my first Ironman triathlon, two and a half mile swim, 112 mile bike, and a full marathon all in one day. Yes, all in one day. Well, that wasn't enough for me, so I decided that I was going to do another one, and I was going to do it even faster. And when the second Ironman came and went, well, I decided I was going to do some endurance swimming. So I signed up for some ocean swims, some very neat places like Bonaire and Bermuda. And then I said, well, let's see, I did my Ironmans, I did my triathlons, I did some swimming. I'm going to road race, and I'm going to ride my bike really, really fast. And... At that point in my life, I kind of set the goal that, you know, I said, Kathy, you're going to get on the podium. And I tell you this because I didn't start out an athlete, but I became an athlete with a little bit of training and some goal setting along the way to kind of keep me going and keep pushing my limits and my boundaries. I became the athlete as an adult. I don't race competitively anymore, but I do stay in shape. I stay 365 fit because on any given day of the year, I personally want to wake up and say to somebody, let's go hike in the mountains or let's go for a nice long bike ride. And I want to be able to say yes when they come to me with that option too. So I tell you this because you may not be, consider yourself an athlete and that's okay because with a little bit of goals and a little bit of training, anybody can become an athlete. And I think with 365 Fit, it's time to start. So welcome to 365 Fit.